Hey T Heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, cultivar showdown for a famous Chinese oolong. In this video, we're going to be doing a tasting comparison of three different cultivars of Tie Guan Yin oolong. If at any point in time you enjoy this video, then make sure you hit it with a like. And if you're not following us on all of our socials, then go click those buttons. I'm here with Celine. Hello, everybody. It's evening. We have just come back from work, uh -huh. and I'm quite hungry actually. I'm very hungry. <laughs> but I'm actually thirsty and hungry. I'm so. also thirsty, yes. and I'm excited for this one. So am I. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so I. I love doing these kind of tastings where you can actually taste them next to each other. Yeah. Because it, for me, it's so much easier yeah. than just getting the different tastes. Yeah, much more educational whenever you do a horizontal mm. flight. So what we're doing today is we're going to be uh, tasting our newly released cultivars of Tie Guan Yin. And we're going to be seeing if we can kind of describe the differences mm -hmm. in their tastes. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's scope these teas. We have... First of all, I'll give you the names. We've got Superior Iron Goddess, new in. This is autumn 2018. We've got a new experimental batch Tie Guan Yin that we're calling, well, the farmer called Batch 54. So this is Tie Guan Yin Batch 54. It's a very limited edition batch. It's kind of experimental. We'll get onto that. And this one here is a Huang Dan, and we're calling it Golden Flower Tie Guan Yin. So Superior Iron Goddess, Batch 54 Tie Guan Yin and Golden Flower Tie Guan Yin. Uh, that sounds so arty, like yeah. from the arty batch. I wonder if they actually did 54 batches. <laughs> abstract. They probably did like five batches, but they thought, oh, we should say 54 just to kind Maybe. of like make it feel like we did quite a few. Quite but cool. it is a really interesting tea. And we, uh, when I tasted it, I was like, okay, that's really interesting. And they only had six kilos. So we've only got six kilos. That's of that it. Tea. That's it. That's all you've ah. got of batch 54. Okay, so let's quickly scope these teas. Yeah. Um, this is autumn 2018, Superior Iron Goddess. This one here, the uh, batch 54 is spring 2018. And Huang Dan, also known as Golden Flower Tie Guan Yin, is spring 2018. We're going to talk about the cultivars in a second because that's the main differences. Mm -hmm. Let's look at origin. This comes from Chungkang village in Anxi in Fujian. This is from Xiping, classic place for Tie Guan Yin in uh, Anxi in Fujian. And this is from Daping town in Anxi in Fujian. So they're all from Anxi, so they're all Anxi Tie Guan Yin, but slightly different areas. The picking and processing will be, well, the picking will be the same. Yeah. Three to, up to three to four leaves. The yeah. processing is gonna be different. This is a Zheng Wei, which means it was uh, fired relatively quickly after withering. This one is experimental and secretive. The farmers would not tell me anything about how they made this tea. Oh. So I'm a little bit like in the dark on this one. It's experimental. And this one is gonna be um, something similar to this. It's gonna be a classic Tie Guan Yin processing. Um, elevation, uh, this one is 600 meters. Those two are 800 meters. But the main difference between them, apart from those idiosyncrasies of different areas, is the cultivar. This is Huangdan cultivar, this is Benshan cultivar, and this one is the Guan Yin cultivar, the classic cultivar um, for Tie Guan Yin. But all of these cultivars are used um, mm -hmm. to make Tie Guan Yin. If you want to find out a lot more about Tie Guan Yin, so that you understand a lot of what I've just said about Zheng Wei, etc. We've done a full video under, about understanding Tie Guan Yin. I'll put a link in the description below. Yeah, it's, it's a really good video. It's, it's a lot of info, but it really clarifies a little bit more about that tea. Yeah, rabbit and hole. And it's in the mountains as well, <laughs> so you can mountains. see us in the tea trip. We've got uh, our little tea pet here. Now, now, Definitely called officially pretzel. I was just wondering. Yeah. So it was voted pretzel. It was about your your name got voted. Thanks, so guys. for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, we did a video with Lucy a few weeks ago yeah. where we uh, asked you guys what this uh, little deer tea pet would be called. be called. Yeah. Um, pretzel came first with 41 percent. Giuseppe Ooh. was not far behind at 37 like percent. Yeah. And 20% of you crazy people voted for Ganging Prancer. But I think you were just uh, just <laughs> trying to wind Prancer. me up. All right, let's quickly take a look at these leaves. Should we bring them a bit closer? Yeah. Okay, so let's bring them close, as close as possible. Without dropping any. Yeah, we always drop a few. There we go. Uh, go a little bit closer if you can. 
You ready? ready? Okay, so this is the Tia Guan Yin uh, variety, the Guan Yin variety. You can see that these two are relatively similar, mm. uh, the Ben Shan and the Guan Yin. Slightly darker, but both of these kind of blue-green tints, so a bit of lime green, a bit of pine, dark pine green, a bit mm. of blue tinges in there. The Huang Dan is definitely more a little bit more yellow green, a bit more lime greens and yellows going on, which is a classic for the Huang Dan variety. So it is a bit of a giveaway. That's true. For those of you who remember <clears throat> baked goods, baked goods was also a Huang Dan um, hybrid, and uh, so that is an unroasted. They're all unroasted mm. versions, and that's an unroasted version of the Huang Dan. Okay, should we warm up these? Yeah, let's do that. Go ones. All right. And then we'll get our nose in these. All right. So we're going to be brewing with as hot as possible, 95 to 99 degrees water. Yeah. Um, these ball roll oolongs really, they can handle heat. Yeah, because they're so tightly yeah. rolled. Yeah. However, I do think that you can, there are methods to control the, to add a little bit more brightness to the tea, but we, we've got master classes for that coming. <laughs> more master classes. More master classes. All right, let's throw these in here. If you bring it here, that's in focus in that oh, camera. Perfect. Okay, right, let's start with the Huang Dan. All right. Golden flower. You begin. <sighs> Get your nose in. Nice. And then we can uh, talk about the differences. Kind of, even though it's not roasted, it has a toastiness to it. Toastiness to it, yeah. It, it makes me think of like shortbread and. Oh really? Is it shortbread or like? Oh, I toast? know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got that 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 baked something. It's, it's yes, but it's light, you know. Baked goods was a roasted version of that, and that was all about amplifying that yeah. ba baked flavor. Considering this is not roasted. Mm. I'm surprised that it's, it's definitely got there. still a little toasty pastry kind of note to it. Yeah. For sure. And a strawberry jam note to it. Oh. I'm getting like a sweetness to it as well. I should say the price differences. Yes. Jam Dodgers. Jammy Dodgers, yeah. Jammy those Dodgers. Jammy Dodger biscuits. So like Maybe they're English though. I, I don't, don't know. know. But like a, a shortbread kind of biscuit with some jam and jam. a little bit of a a, a jelly jam thing. And what's that? There's a cream filling as well. Oh yeah, there's like a little cream. It's a like um a icing cream. Icing custard. Butter buttercream thing. Yeah. Kind of thing. I should say the price difference is quite <laughs> marked between these. Huang Dan is definitely a much more affordable cultivar in general. Really? The Guan Yin is definitely on the on the topper end of the price range. Although mm. of course there are hundreds of grades, especially with Tie Guan Yin. So right. this one is about half the price of this one. Okay, it's worth bearing that in mind. So this is a really affordable one. So we're getting strawberry jam. I mean, it smells great. Jammy Dodgers. Yeah, yeah. you're right. It Isn't is it? just straight <laughs> up Jammy Dodgers. Biscuits, yeah. strawberry jam, and a little bit of buttercream. Delicious, I'm right? Hungry. Have a sniff of that one and see how the Bun Shan okay. variety is different. Remember, this is batch 54, the experimental batch. Traditionally, I have not gone for Bun Shan because Bun Shan for me always was milky but a little bit too light. Wow, so different. Wow, that's so, so different. different. So different. That, Much more bright, this one. Like there's a coconutiness. Definitely of coconut. Something, you know, it's like, yeah, let me smell it again. There's magnolia <laughs> flowers, those sort of sweet flowers. There are coconut yeah. notes. There's a slight sour note to it, something like a yogurt or something like that, um, or sour cream. Sour cream, yeah. Yes. More sour cream, I would say. Definitely a more sour note to it. Yeah. Delicious. Okay, so let's move on to the Guanyin variety. I'm going to go Aww. first this time. Oh. <laughs> Again, really different. And this one's definitely pulling out more of the starchy notes. Mm. I'm getting mashed potatoes and sweet corn. I'm getting those flower notes. I'm getting magnolias and orchids and <gasps> sweet flowers as well. Very sweet. I would say yeah. it's, it's a little bit more on one hand starchy but also a little bit more fresh as well yeah i would say the floral note comes out more pronounced in this one than the other yeah. two but i agree with you like that sweet corn smell like buttered sweet corn 
I feel like that's coming through with yeah, the magnolia. Yeah, there's a sweetness to it. Yeah. There's a starchy sweetness to it. So if we were going to mm. try and sum up the difference in the dry leaf, I would say more on the warm side, mm. a little bit more toasty with kind of uh, those strawberry jam, jammy dodgers, biscuity. Yeah. This one's a little bit more tropical. I'm getting coconut. I'm getting a little bit of, I'm getting, uh, I said yogurt or sour cream, but I'm also getting a sort of mango, really unripe mango, very green mango um, notes to that one. And then this one here is the most sweet, I would say starchy, sweet, mashed potatoes, butter, yeah. sweet corn, and then the orchids, and a freshness, like a, a sappy freshness, but a sweet, sappy freshness. Yeah. Okay, let's warm them up. Yeah, um, I was gonna say, it, that is kind of what um, people look more for in Tikwan Yin, isn't it? That kind of floral notes to it. Yeah, they look for floral notes, I think, but you also, you also I tend to look for, I think that one of the things with uh, Tie Guan Yin that people look for is they look for very kind of bright, sweet, mm. flowery, and a little bit creamy notes, mm. which I do as well. But I also look for a tang, especially in mm. the taste and the finish. So if it doesn't have that, gotcha. that tangy, little bit of sourness, that, um, that slightly sour to sweet note to it, it's quite then it's that. then I don't go for it. If it's just all aroma, then it's no good. Let's uh, let's uh, rinse it. Should we do the smell? Oh, let's yeah. rinse them all first, okay, and then we can do all. then we can do the smell. Yeah, I like doing it like one at a time, like just doing the dry leaves, smelling all of them, and then doing the wet leaves. It's just easier to get the difference. Oh yeah. The problem Sorry. is that you. Normally it takes half an hour for us to do one and we're going to do three, so we need to be moving. Alrighty, let's do yeah. this. Okay, so you smell. Alright, activating. Activate those nasal receptors and I will uh, give uh, oh. pretzel like a proper glugging of, of Tie Guan Yin rinse. Look at that, he's like, oh my god, can't take it. Oh shit, <laughs> sorry. I was so into my own world and then all of a sudden I was hearing Don like panicking and I... What are you doing? I'm not panicking, I'm just uh, doing an impression of pretzel. Oh, it had a very deep voice, that pretzel. Yeah, <laughs> just because he's called pretzel doesn't mean he doesn't have a deep voice. It's not all right, mate, my name is pretzel, mate. <laughs> God, it fits so hard. I'm like, I'm so enjoying this smell and then I'm hearing... Okay, sorry, go. Talk about, funky talk about the... Accent. Talk about the Huang Dan. It's so sweet smelling. It's Ooh. so sweet and like fruity and yummy smelling. What, is, what are those notes? Um, well, it's super fruity, no? Uh, yeah, it's fruity. I get, I'm getting that sourness now though. So I'm still getting those toasty notes. Uh -huh. That's still there, warm toastiness to it. But I'm also getting a yogurt again mm -hmm. and there's fruit there's a fruity there's a fruitiness to that yogurt um not tropical i would say fruit but still quite sweet so comforting it's so comforting what fruit is that i i was thinking in my head apricot jam because it's quite sweet smelling apricot jam swirled into yogurt Ooh. so you get that sour sweet sour from the apricot and the sour from the yogurt and then a little bit of toastiness to it as well i so want Yogurt yeah, right now. <laughs> yeah. That's dessert. That's dessert. You can tell we're hungry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. What? Oh, so different. Oh. Tropical. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Now we're getting a lot more freshness coming through. I'm getting coconut, but more coconut water. Very kind of oh. electrolyte coconut yeah. water. I'm getting mangoes have ripened up more i'm getting some sort of pineapples i'm getting it's a little bit tropical of... isn't it definitely some pineapple mangoes oh my god it's so different this is apricot yogurt this is... <laughs> and toasty this is... biscuity warm definitely a little bit more on the western hemisphere this is definitely tropical and then we let's go into this a, one here a punch a juice a tropical juice this one is Aloe vera, buttered mashed potatoes. So like fresh to starchy to buttery. Oh. And then you get also oh. some fruit at the end, but a very 
cre uh, clean, crisp fruit. Get a bit of pomelo in here as well. Yes. Oh, yes. It smells so good. And this one here, green apple, as you allow it to dissipate, the starchiness starts to dissipate and you dive a little bit into that aroma, you start to pick up some fresh green Granny Smith apples, yeah. really, really crisp. I would say that this one like is... the skin of the green apples with the apple together. Yeah. So if you, again, let's try and summarize here. Yeah. Warmer, again, a little bit... Uh, we've got the apricot yogurt notes, we've got coconuts, mangoes, Tropical. pineapples, pomelos, and this one we've got so, buttered mashed potatoes, magnolia, magnolia flowers, honeysuckle, honeysuckle, and then a cut floral. green apple. And so yeah. what I'm noticing immediately is that the journey on this one is, mm. is more complicated. Mm. You know, I'm going from sweet flowery to starchy yeah. to buttery to, to crisp fruit. and clean this yeah. one's really really tropical and this one is uh, i would say it's apricot yogurt and and biscuity and so it's still yogurt. got complexity yeah. but it's a little bit less complex than this one okay so let's brew one up at a time all righty should we start with this one yeah let's start with the with the golden flower so the golden flower mm. is uh, a much more um i would say i would say that the Guanyin is the most common variety being produced, but right. Huangdan is produced in quite large quantities, which is probably why, really? hold it, hold it, which is probably why it's a little bit cheaper. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, how is he going to end this? This is like okay, ruined. Look at this. Quite fast. Color, um, nice fluorescent yellow green. I would say, yeah, fluorescent green. Yeah, it's I mean, going to get darker with from future. your side, guys, maybe it looks more yellow, but it's very green. Okay, let's serve it up and let's talk about the, okay. uh, let's talk about the texture. So we're drinking out these little ickle cups because we've got a lot of tea to get through here. <laughs> okay, so cheers, cheers. everybody. Mm -hmm. Texture, light to medium. Nice little juice coming, juiciness coming through. Mmm. Oh, it's so sweet. It's got a real, yeah. You know, it's sweet, but it's fresh at the same time. It's There's... much fresher and sweeter than I imagined yeah. it would be from the smell. Yeah, I agree. And um, the sweetness is a beautiful... It's like a... It's not like a sugar sweetness. It's not like a, a herbal... icing sugar sweetness. It's more fruity mm. than that. Fruity, yeah, but a very, yeah, a very specific. simple, um, I want to say like uh, fresh apricots maybe, or persimmon. Yeah, yeah. You know? More that. That sort of sweet orange flesh sweetness, if that makes sense to everybody out there. But very, more <laughs> simple rather than a tang. Yeah. Mmm. Ooh. Lovely, lovely juiciness on the finish yeah and persimmon can be a bit like viscous almost you know the texture well. this is very clean it's just the aftertaste is like persimmon well the aftertaste is can we brew another one yeah the aftertaste for me Which almost one is, is this one oh. almost has a sort of herbal stevia sweetness you know stevia yeah that sweetener yeah i don't like stevia in general but you yeah. know that sort of uh, minty cool sweetness oh really rather than, don't you think so yeah have a bit of mine that persimmon sweetness that orange flesh sweetness turns into a little bit more of a minty cool sweetness on the mouth yeah it is very kind of Juicy, but it's got like a freshness yeah. to it as well. You've still got my cup. Sorry. It's yeah, it's I don't think it's minty so much, but yeah, it's got that cooling, slightly cooling. Yeah, more of a cooling sensation. I think it's, it reminds me of stevia. Mm. Ah. But the finish is very um, juicy. It's nice, simple sweetness again, um, but quite yeah. short. It doesn't have that tang. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Nice, juicy. I'm getting juiciness on the sides of Very my tongue. Juicy, yeah. And that's a nice, sweet juiciness. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's move on to the next one. Ooh, sorry. Okay. So now we're moving on to batch 54. Mm. Whatever that means. Oh, God, it's so like concept tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. 
Uh, well, anyway, it smells amazing. That coconutty one, isn't it? it? Yeah, that was the one that had a coconut um, water mm. kind of note. I tell you what, while we're waiting for the water to heat up. This is great because I have tried them before, but not next to each other like that. So, yeah, I really like this. It's really nice and sweet and... Yeah, it's got a real sweet, easy drinking, very nice. The, the, the empty Gongdao Bay has a sort of coconutiness to it, actually, but it has a, a almost a coconut face cream. Um, it's got a little bit of icing sugar, I would say. Icing, yeah, again, I, definitely some sweetness. It's that sweet. But again, Whoa. simple sweetness. It's super sweet and coconutty. There is coconut in there, isn't there? But is it like um, coconut lotion or something? Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, suntan lotion. Yeah, coconut suntan yeah, lotion. That's it. Yeah, coconut suntan lotion icing sugar. That's All right. so weird, but yeah. Let's take a look at this like liquor. That. I would say it it's slightly more. Slightly more. Would you say? I don't know. Similar, right? Pretty similar. I, I would say that this one was greener. Okay. This one has a bit more of a golden hue to it. Okay. But it's still green. Which is a bit weird considering that the leaves were greener. All right, so yeah. take your second cup. You can put another cup there so you can put it down here. Oh no, I downed the last one. I'm not going to be able to taste this. Um, you can always bruise some more up. Okay, cheers everybody. So this is batch cheers. 54. It looks lighter than... Oh, wait, that was another infusion, mm. though. Mm. It's so different in taste and texture. And texture. So, texture first. I would say that this is medium. Mm, it's it, like... Sorry. No, go for Here it. Go. It sounds a bit weird, but it's like um, drinking like a... You know those drinks that have a lot of electrolyte? Yeah, you know, isotonic. Like, isotonic, like it goes into your mouth It feels like fast. it's plumping your tongue up. Yeah, yeah. like really hydrating. Very hydrating, or like coconut because, water. Yeah, like coconut like water. Like coconut water. Yeah. It's got that coconut water hydrating note to it. It's even got a bit of the coconut water taste to it. Definitely, well. definitely. It's definitely got coconut water taste. And that's, um, that. that's something, a note that I picked up when I first tried it. Mm. I remember writing on the um, on the uh, on the sheet coconuts, but yeah, I think coconut water, that freshness of coconut water. I'm still getting a, um, so a, a fruitiness yeah. coming through. I would say that pomelo that you were talking about before is oh, coming yeah. through. Oh yeah, that's way more pronounced now. It was there in the smell a little bit, but mm. now in the taste, it's yeah, very pomelo. And I'm also noticing a distinct extra finish to this. I've got a little bit more dryness happening. It's a bit more physical. I'm getting a physical dry to juicy sensation. I'm getting a little bit more of that tang. If I breathe through my nose, I'm getting baked apples and, and um, brown, brown baked apples. I'm getting some of that pomelo. I'm getting a little bit of mango. Brown, what did you say? Brown baked apples? Uh, brown butter baked apples, I meant to say but only when you breathe out after you've swallowed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So it goes from that coconut freshness through that um, pomelo tangy sweetness mm. to this oh, baked this yummy. apple, slightly tangy finish, dry to juicy. Really, really definitely a marked difference in terms of the finish. This has more physicality. Mm. Delicious and very, very different. It's got a lot of creaminess as well, like um, yeah, like um, uh, say, sago. What is it called? There's um, the pudding. Pudding, yeah, creamy sago pudding. Mm -hmm. um, Again, made with coconut, mm. right? Coconut milk. Yeah. Sago pudding. That's so good. Mm. Um, yeah, it's very creamy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But there is like um, it's not sea water. It's 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 like um, iodine. Little yeah, iodine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
There's Some definitely that slightly more marine note to mm -hmm. it, for sure. That's... What do you smell cool. here? I'm going to brew up this one. <laughs> I get, okay, I, I get magnolia, but then I get weirdly again, coconut. No, it's straight up. Cream? Yeah, for me, it's straight but up like, coconut cream. Not coconut lotion. No, it's this not is, like that. yeah, exactly. This is, this is definitely got more of the coconut suntan lotion. Yeah. <laughs> and this is definitely much more coconut cream, like the thick coconut cream. Yeah. Like, Okay. <laughs> Thick coconut cream. Finally, yeah. we are on to the Autumn That's Superior one. Iron Goddess. This is the Guanyin variety. So this is meant to be like what uh, people go for. Like, the, is, well, isn't that like the top? It's considered to be, uh, yeah. Is it, the, is it the top? It is, that's a, no, not really. <laughs> not really. It's, it's not about top, it's about differences. But yes, this is a very well revered variety and it's often overused i think is too there's so much there's so much of the guanyin variety out there oh, um because people buy according to the name guanyin well you want to get your pink oh. up mm. here you go thank you nice vibrant color i would say a little bit more green again yeah, it's very green. And I don't know if it's because it's in the cup. No, compared to the other cups, it's definitely it's a definitely. very bright, bright lime green color. It's and beautiful. the taste is very different again. Oh my Ooh. God, full on honeysuckle. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Floral, uh, very floral. Very floral. Orchids, honeysuckles. Hmm. But it's still, you know what, the texture in the mouth is very lush. It's creamy in the buttermilk kind of way. Yeah, so it's, you know? what well, you mean it's got the thick, it's, it's definitely thicker. And actually, I think the taste of it has a, that sour buttermilk note to it. So yeah. um, I think you're mixing up the taste and the texture a little bit. Yeah, it's, I would say medium to thick in terms of, I would definitely think it's the thickest in texture yeah. out of them. Yeah. And I do agree with you that it's got that, sour note to it they all have a slight sour you know yogurty yeah. sour cream note to it this is a little bit lighter in yeah. its sourness i would say yeah um on the front end you've got flowers yeah it's it's like having a bouquet um not a bouquet a meadow in your mouth yeah. with this one and this one is like having coconut water <laughs> yeah that's how i think about it yeah definitely the most floral right. But also, yeah. just like the smell of the wet leaf, also it is the most, I would say, complicated. You're getting some starchy notes yeah. in there. There are some green apple notes in there. Some buttermilk going on. Um, just a bit more movement in the taste. Yeah, you, know? you feel like throughout the infusions, it's going to change quite a bit. And definitely, 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 the finish on this is, for me, the longest. Mm. I'm getting a distinct tang on the uh, in my mouth afterwards, and that is that yin yun feeling that it mm. has this this strong tangy. No, if this had the baked apple, um, I would say that this is more. I don't know. It's got like, more of a tang to it. Like green apple. Green apples definitely from the smell of the of the uh, wet leaf is there That's but very green, isn't it? also i think the tang is a little very green oh the tang God. is almost a sort of green grape tang oh yeah you know yeah i know what you mean like grape skin you know when you 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 bite on grape skin and it's got that mm. um tangy uh taste which Thank is you. different to the taste of the flesh of the grapes that tang is persistent Oh yeah. Mm. So I really wanted you to pour it because I wanted to taste that tang and like the moment you taste, taste it, it's It is grape like, skin, isn't yeah. it? Green grape skin, you know? Green you, grape skin. That, mm -hmm. yeah. that dryness and then the tang. Definitely it's that. Yeah, sometimes I take off the skin of the grapes just because I want to have just the juice, but I eat some of the skin and it's true, it's that tang. You, you peel grapes. Okay, not often, just, just when I feel in 
indulgent and it takes you i juice. don't have the i don't have the patience to peel grapes yeah it's kind like of meditative time. you know <laughs> i quite like that also that astringent little dryness again i don't do it every day <laughs> yeah, so. you're in comfort mode show but, them show them what's on your feet oh god he always just, laughs at these just just show them like she looks all stylish up here no no, no. Oh, okay go on then i just can't show. move my foot all right just show them like, i'm not no, so right. yoga yeah, i'll show them. yoga ready look Look, look at that. That's what she's wearing underneath the table here. <laughs> God, you guys are not meant to see this. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so summaries. Definitely, definitely the finish on this and the physicality on this is the strongest. This is medium, this is the least. This is the what? This is the least in terms of the finish. Oh, this is finish, the, yeah. the cleanest finish, True. the most simple sweet finish. This one we get some tang, more of that baked apple brown butter tang. Mm. And this one here I'm getting distinct grape skin sappy aloe vera tang to it. I'm also getting flowers. that starchiness and I'm also getting those flowers yeah. for sure. Yeah, it definitely uh, lingers much longer mm, on the palate. Yeah. yeah, and if you breathe out through your nose, a real tang to it. I it's, love that. Look at this laser. It is very different in color. You guys should probably see it. Okay, let's take a look at the, the eyes wet leaf. Definitely a lot more yellow, this one, isn't it? Yeah. This one's a lot more yellow. Yeah. This one is the most green, and this one is in between. Yeah. Now, I'm not trying to say that this is a bad tea, this is a medium tea, this is a good tea, right? I actually, I think that they're, they're, all good. they're all great they're all good. in their own ways. This is definitely a, a more simple tea, yeah. but the taste is spot on and in terms of affordability you could grab yourself a pouch of this and be very happily sipping on Tie Guan Yin um, more regularly. Yeah. This one here, batch 54, definitely something weird is happening in this batch. I don't know what they've done because Ben Shan, as I said, is normally yeah. that milky, more Jin Xuan like, but oh, remember when we went yeah. to, to, to Anxi, it's got a little bit more of a simple taste to it. This one here, they've somehow done something to bring it, break out those um, coconutty notes, uh, mm. coconut electrolytes, and tropical fruits, pomelo, sago pudding, um, a bit of sourness from baked apples, a little bit of sorrel. Yeah, and so it, maybe they're doing a bit of processing like in Taiwan, bringing I, out more of this creamy. I think that what my guess of what yeah. they've done here is that they treated this one, you know how we have sour sap? Yeah. And they leave it for longer yeah. in terms of the amount of water in the leaf in order to boost up those sour notes. Right. I think that they've done that and they've inadvertently stumbled upon trying to making something that tastes very tropical like pineapple-y and mango-y uh -huh. because it's that, that slightly tangy fruit going oh, on. Oh, so you're saying they use a similar way of sour sap but for a different cultivar yeah. and therefore it's got a different... Yeah, that would be my guess but they're that not, would be they're not, clever, they're not telling me. And then this one here is the most classic Tie Guan Yin taste, but very, very rich. Yeah. Really rich. Sure. You can feel this juiciness coming out of the mouth. You can feel this texture. I'm going to guess that the empty cup yeah. is probably going to have the strongest aroma. Let's Thank quickly you. give it a sniff. Ah, I mean, I think... Mm. Yeah, it's okay. it's definitely got more of the sourness in the aroma of the uh, empty cup, but it's more like okay. So if that one was uh, coconut suntan lotion and this was coconut cream, this is those young coconuts. Um, you know those young green coconut jelly yeah. cubes in yogurt. I don't know if you've ever had those those coconut young coconut yogurt. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So there's, co there's a coconut theme going on here. There's definitely a coconut theme, which I love, by the way. But definitely the juiciness on this. Tons and tons of juiciness going on mm -hmm. in my mouth for sure. Okay, let's, uh, let's do something here. What are you doing? I know, normally you do this after several infusions, right? Ah, uh, oh. I do love that. <laughs> Let's just see these little mounds of leaves. It gives you a better tea mountains depiction of the leaf as oh, well. Oh, I know what you're doing. You're you checking the you're checking the squidgeability. Squidgeability. <laughs> so scientific. Yeah. Squidgeability of the squidgeability of the leaves. So one of the things that they do in Anshi after they've brewed, and really you sure. should do this after some infusions, is just give these little squidge. You can squidge that one. Oh yeah. And see how bouncy they are. Doesn't, yeah, pretty bouncy, but pretty not, try that one. Back. 
Oh yeah, this bounces more. Yeah, that more. definitely has a bit more firm bounciness to it <laughs> than that one. It's funny. Oh, this, this one... This still feels rigid, doesn't it? Yeah, but it feels more like fluffy like it yeah it feels you know? like thicker yeah so what you're also seeing here is the fact that these leaves look a bit more thin oh, a little yeah. bit more fragile these leaves definitely look the most lush and robust and again <laughs> this one in the middle and so I'm gonna guess that you're gonna get a lot more infusions out of this one here it just looks like you can feel as well it feels like the, the leaves are, have hardly hydrated that's true at all it looks know? like paper almost like yeah crimple, yeah so there's a lot more going paper. on in terms of potential extractions from mm. there I would say okay final thoughts favorites what what do you think about them? I, I definitely this one was the one that surprised me the most because yeah. of that naughty <laughs> water. The concept worked. Yeah, um, I'm sure they only did five batches, but anyway, batch fifty four. Okay, <laughs> batch fifty four is the most surprising. This one, what we're calling it, golden. This flower, is golden flower. Yeah, is like. Delicious, and I think as an everyday tea, yeah. it's great. Yeah. Everyday tea. Sweet, Korean. nice, sweet, sweet everyday tea. You could yeah. drink that very happily and not break the bank. Very, very nice, nice, sweet aftertaste, and a little, little bit of a toasty thing going on, which mm -hmm. I like. Uh, but this one is very intriguing. Like, I, f I feel like I want to explore it more, but I think that's going to be more of an occasional special tea. Mm. That style. is, for me, this one is the most. Um, complex in taste yeah that doesn't mean it's the best it depends on what you feel like this is simple mm. sweet um and uh, toasty this is a you know tropical fruits coconut this one has a bit more of a wide yeah. range palette of flavors which one does pretzel want to sit on <laughs> pretzel pretzel i think he wants the softer oh he wants to have like bed down not have too much spring going on there you Aww. go pretzel is now sitting upon the mound that's it guys, these are the Tie Guan Yins, they have just come out, um, they are available online, you can check them out, you can certainly do the horizontal tasting yourself. Yeah. It's a great way to learn how it. cultivar affects the taste of tea. It's quite amazing, it's quite amazing. That's it Tea Heads, if you made it to the end of this video then make sure you hit it with a like, follow us on all of our socials so that you don't miss out on any news and videos from May Leaf HQ. If you're ever in London, then go and visit her. <laughs> Get her to serve you tea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if yes. I'm around, say hi. Definitely. Um, and you can taste our wares. If you have any questions, comments, or video ideas, then please fire them over. Other than that, keep drinking the good stuff, people. Stay away from those tea bags and, and spread, spread the, the word, word because nobody deserves bad tea. Bye. Bye.